years of my life, and I've both parties turn out to be bullshit liars, man. They lie, but they tell you anything. Then when they get in office, they do whatever the hell they want and continue to line their pockets from all the big donors and prepare themselves for their million dollar retirements. I was born into politics, so I didn't get a vote in it. And my mother was a chairman in, in one of the political parties, and I married into the other side all the way into the White House in my first marriage, and the second time the same thing. And I've come to the conclusion, they all lie. It's yeah. spin control yeah. on whatever works best for their agenda. Yeah. There's nothing about telling yeah. the truth to the people. Right. And just us is for just us who can afford it. Because yeah. if you can't afford it, you will plead out oh. to something. You will be in the system. You are in trouble in this country if you don't have some resources. You don't have some assets, some resources. And what do you know about martial law? I, I know they can impose it any time the president decides to call yeah, the governor. Yeah, they just voted it in. No, they just voted it in two years ago. If you Google martial law, like not a martial officer, but like a military term, martial right. law, right. And, and Obama, it brings it right up to the White House, and they voted it in two years ago that they don't need an act of Congress. All he has to do is decide that any time between now and whenever, in the interest of national security, they can go into martial law. We don't need to be at war. Doesn't matter. He can just declare martial law at any time now. You know what? I think I remember that. But I, 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 I was thinking that the, that the president always had that authority, and that the governors always had the no. authority to declare martial the law. The only time there was troops. martial law ever on the books before was during Abraham Lincoln during the war with the slaves, and he never enacted it. Oh. It's the only time it was on the books. Okay. Then it was removed from the books. It was just voted in okay. April of what? 2014. If you Google it. I'll Google that, man. When I get up here, I'm going to Google that. I'm going to look that up. It's actually on my Facebook pages. Wow. And it's called Ready Preparedness is what they're calling it. National Ready Preparedness. They already have enough jails between Texas and California oh, to incarcerate 50 million people yeah. out of the box. And they have ovens bigger than Auschwitz. Is that what it was called? In Auschwitz, Auschwitz, yeah. They already have incineration camps set up, so if we go to martial law and they have any resistance, wow. we are in trouble. Wow. And it can be declared any time without war. All he needs to do, he doesn't even have to go to Congress, all he has to do is enact it. It's set and ready to go. They call it ready preparedness. It's well, on the White House website. You know, like... Uh, That's scary to me. You know, Great Britain had about a thousand years of reign. And, and their influence is still all over the world today. Yep. But the thing, the reason why they lost all their colonies, and that means they couldn't break any resources and take back to Great Britain, you know, whatever. Like Hong Kong and India yeah, and all those they, Wherever they went in with weapons and, right. and colonized and took things with power. And Australia. They, and then took all the uh, resources and pulled them back. But uh, I say that to say uh, America is... You know, they had a thousand years. We, we barely... Scratched 250. Well, we've only... No, we haven't scratched that. We've only been a world power since the end of World War II. Just but, 60, 65 years ago. But we've even a, a nation, power. we're only been around 250 200, years. 200 years, 230, 40 years yeah. as a nation. But we weren't a world power then. We no, were, no, no, you no. Know, that didn't become world, until World War II. We've only been a world power since the end of World War II. And the Cold when War. We were, the, we were the dominant power in the world along with the Russians. Right. Okay. But I say that to say, we've only 60, 65 years, and we have screwed it up in a lousy 65 years. We screwed up our financial order. We screwed up resources. We've outsourced all of our labor. We don't manufacture anything anymore. We have screwed up in 65 years. We screwed it all up. It's like, like you know, where's our manufacturing base? Where is, where's the, well, you where's the faith that corporations and Americans used to have when companies had to employees and employees had faith to the company and allegiance to the company? Well, that was before Reagan busted up yeah, the, the yeah, unions. Yeah. Once Reagan started breaking up the unions, yeah. it went down quickly. Yeah. And we can thank Congress and Senate because, I don't know if you're aware of this, but last year alone, with their backdoor interest in third world nations where they own parts of those factories they outsourced all our shit yeah, to, yeah, they yeah. made $10 trillion yeah. in undeclared income. Of course. If they declared that income, that offset $19 and trillion in debt. That's, that's, that's what I said. That, that goes back to my original point about keeping us divided by they walk off with right. wealth. They left here because unions have become so dominant. I'm a product of the union. So I, am I. I'm a product of the union. I believe in what unions did to the American middle class. Because and, it helped the country well, survive. We were it, it was, it was pride like, in America. This is how, you know, uh, 
uh, South Middle, uh, 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 Central America and South America had those vast wealth with the upper income, right, right, no right. middle class, and a lower middle class, and a lower class. That's how you had all the revolutions, and that's how you had all the problems throughout Central and South America. Right. Well, that's exactly what our what we're doing right now. That's how you had all the revolts, the Russian Revolution, everything, because that small percentage of the aristocracy had all the wealth. And the, and the proletariat, the working class, were working the farms, working the land for the landowners and for the people that own the factories right. and owners. Right, right. That's exactly what we're doing right now. And they ended and this bullshit about bringing all these illegal aliens in. We know who brought the illegal aliens in here. The same people that busted up the unions brought them in here because we had all these qualified middle class Americans that were electricians and plumbers and drywallers and framers and all, were craftsmen. Craftsmen that had journeymen, apprentices, right. journeymen, and unions and making $25 and $30 an hour. They had to bust that up so they could put more money in their pockets, control the whole thing. Okay, so that's, that's, why I say, that's why I say all they do is keep people like you and I they keep at odds, and us. They keep us arguing over bullshit while they walk off with all the wealth. Yep. Okay, and they think that we're too dumb to see what the hell they're doing. Now well, they got unfortunately, this we are because yeah. Yeah. we should. If if we held the people in power accountable to the same laws they make for us, they'd all be in jail. Yeah. But yeah. because they have diplomatic privileges. Okay. Excuse me? Okay. Hold it. If I do that, I go to prison for how many years? But if you do it, it's okay? No, 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 no. That shit's got to stop. They can, uh, they got so many laws that benefit Who are you voting for? Dumb, dumb, or retarded? Oh, man. You know what? Here's the problem. There's no good choice. You know what? I just, it's, it's the lesser of two evils. And here's the, here's, uh, the, here's the problem. Here's the problem. So who's the lesser of the evils? It's, it's got to be Hillary. Well, it's not Trump. I don't want him near any I, I, buttons I, I, going, I say, I you're fired. I got him over here because He's going to start a war with his fucking he, mouth. He is too ignorant. He's just way too damn ignorant. Well, he, knows, he waffles he too knows, much. He changes Women should story. have the right to have abortion. Oh, no, they shouldn't. Oh, they should go to prison if they have an abortion. He changes the story. you talking about a guy that's just a con man, a salesman, Thank a you. con man. Slippery okay? con changes man. changes the story for whoever he's talking to. He changes the story. At least Hillary. We know Hillary's part of that old establishment, the old money-making establishment, and the old good old boy network. But here's the deal. At least she understands national and international affairs. Thank she you. understands that, at least. She knows how to manage that, knows how to deal. This Trump guy, he don't He's know crap. He's He's fucking he knows dangerous. About, he knows about uh, SmackDown, wrestling matches, uh, casinos. Uh, Hot or rape uh, the economy for every minute, nickel he can get. Can, uh, what do you call it? A uh, beauty pageant. That's the kind of guy we're going to elect to the highest office in our Thank land. Thank you. That's the kind of guy we want representing our country. And now. we want him wow. making these racial remarks wow. as president of the United States. Unbelievable. Hold it. If you watched CNN last night or the night before, why they hate us? Gee. Yeah. Let me think about why they hate us. We're the only country that can impose itself on any nation. And if we don't have a base there, we're going to overthrow your government. Right. Tell me what other country could put a base here in the United States and get away with it. Exactly. Do you, exactly. Do you even think of doing that? You're, yeah. you're going to war. Yeah. Yeah. And he's sitting there making remarks that, you know, all Muslims are this, Muslims yeah. are that. Oh, yeah. It's less than 1% of Muslims who are extremists. Right. And when they compared the Koran to the Bible on CNN the other night, right. it has the same, same thing. Place. So hey, mean, if it does this, okay. you do this. Okay. Now, all right. Now, let's, all right. Let's, so call it Allah, call it God. I don't care what you call it. Let's get over the racial religion. God didn't invent religion. You know what? God didn't invent politics. Let me tell you something. These these right wing extremists. extremist Republicans, they got to be stupid picking a fight with over a billion damn people. We're going to go back. Who to, have a lot of wait, fucking wait, money. We're going to go back to 2,000 years, 3,000 years ago, and we're going to have cr cr crusades and religious wars again. Thank with, you. With Muslims? Are you out of your mind? Thank you. you I mean, you have any idea how many well, you got all, Sarah all these Palin. nations in the world where people are Muslims? You got Sarah Palin who thinks it's just a skirmish in the Middle East. Oh. Excuse me. At what point does a skirmish become a yeah, war? Yeah. These people didn't just start warring. Yeah. This has been going on centuries. Yeah. Of course, yeah. she also thinks Russia is her neighbor. Yeah, you know that's, that's and if she and Donald you know Trump what? are the ideal okay. role models in this country, See, I need to get the fuck out of this here's country. A, here's my problem. See, I have an awful lot of respect for John McCain. I'm a I'm a Vietnam era veteran. Okay, so I got a lot of respect. for I John missed McCain. it by six okay. months. I almost anybody had to, go. to fly a, a jet, get fly a mission up there all by yourself in that plane, get shot down, get tortured for five years, 
and make it alive. Hang you up out of your arms backwards and your arms are so bent they can't straighten out. Beat you anytime they feel like it. And you get out of there alive. I got a lot of respect for that man. Trump, the type of comments that Trump said about him and, and veterans like, you know, I don't, he basically says, I, I like I liked the ones that didn't get captured. Give me a effing break, man. Oh, yeah. Give like it was their fault they got captured. I like the ones that didn't, you worthless son of a bitch. Thank you, you have never put a uniform on or done anything for anybody other than yourself. Well, this is the same guy that 15 years ago was against guns, and now all of a sudden he's yeah, being endorsed yeah. by the NRA. You know what? What's the fuck? You know what? See, here's, here's the thing. You and I, we've been talking five, ten minutes. 99% of what we said already, we agree upon. 99%. Easily. Okay? Because you've got two reasonably educated people that can think stuff through beyond the bullshit that they put out there for us. Beyond the news so, spin control. Yeah, beyond the bullshit. And I've worked in news my entire life, and I have never been more disappointed in broadcast news than I have been in the last five years. How did we allow the EPA to get deregulated where you can't use scientific evidence on pollution anymore? Except... Oh, our government appointed heads of Exxon and BP yeah, to the yeah, Board of Advisories, yeah, yeah. and of course they don't want to fight each other. Right, right. And how did we allow martial law to get enacted in the country without anybody even reporting on it? Okay. Somebody's taking some yeah. huge payoffs yeah. on Capitol Hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I am angry at this, not just now Fox News, it's ABC, NBC, CBS. They okay. all are kowtowing to government. All right. I'm a news junkie. Ever since I retired, when I was working, I was, I was still, I was, I love current events, but since I retired, I'm, an, I'm 24 hours a day news. I'm seeing it in, I mean, I believe in knowing what's going on around me. And even okay. that is not honest news reporting. Well, but here, here's the point. I, I pop between CNN, Fox, and MSNBC. What about want, BBC? I, not too much. Not too much on that. Yeah, but it's I've a got different them. twist. But I, it's but a what, twist. What I, want, I, I go between those three. I hear that I want to hear the same story. I want to see how they put the spin on the same story. Oh, and it definitely and everyone spins. slants it the way they want. Except CNN is a lot more neutral than the others. Absolutely. But, you know, but here's the deal. What gets me when they're on Sunday morning on on uh, Meet, the, Meet press. the Press or wherever they are, right? Face the and Nation, when, whatever. When Trump or or Hillary, whoever. Does, doesn't even answer the question. They just totally ignore the question and go off to something. They don't challenge them on it. Thank you. They don't even challenge them. They just let them put their spill out there and never challenge. Then if they, even if they... And if they do try to raise it and they start to spin it again, they let them go they with the spill. They let them go with it. They don't... They, they got, they got their reporting. orders. They got their orders. After